How'd you like playing in the slot tonight? Is that a position that you see yourself playing quite a bit this year? Uh, well, to answer your first question, it was fun. Uh, I felt like uh, a lot more ways of getting the ball. Um, so that was that was pretty cool. Um, but it, it just kind of happened. We got some injuries. Uh, Braylon had got hurt over the offseason. We just kind of had to move guys around. We, we really just want to put the best guys on the field. So whether that's just more running backs playing receiver, receivers playing running back, however it may work, um, just, we just want to put the most talented on the field. Do you know kind of that would be your role tonight, being so involved in the receiving game coming in? Yeah, yeah, we had worked on that a lot during uh, fall camp and even more during last week. So um, it, it was something to be expected. I had practice there and everything. You get about the rotations you expect of running wise, and it's kind of mixed up between the three of you guys. Is that kind of what you expect is kind of a, a balance between you, Royce, and Thomas getting the handoff. Yeah, I knew it kind of bounced back and forth. I wasn't. Uh, we never really know specifically how many carries is go we're going to get before the game starts, whether that's a, a little or a lot. Um, and that's not really for us to worry about. Just kind of go in there, wait for our number to get called on, and, and go play. You talking about your touchback? Your drop at the one? Yeah, a uh, huge mental mistake. Um, I never really made a, a dumber play before in my life, so... Uh, out of all the good that may have happened tonight, that's the only thing that's really replaying through my mind. It's just that uh, that touchback, it's, stuff like that shouldn't happen. It seems like that happens in football once a year, but it, it happens in the NFL too. Yeah, I mean, it happens, you know what I'm saying? No one's perfect. Uh, we can't go out there and play a perfect game, but uh, a mistake like that can, could be costly in, in, a, in a different game, and uh, I got to be better than that. Mac? Yeah, Byron, speaking of a different game, are you glad it was a game like this where, you know, it wasn't really an issue so guys can learn from it later on? Uh, I mean, I guess that I guess that may have helped that it was a game like this, but I'm not glad, you know. I, I would never choose for this to happen. Uh, a mistake is a mistake, whether it's going to South Dakota or Michigan State. Um, and, and it's unacceptable to me personally. How do you think about the way you responded, though? You came back, got a touchdown immediately after. How do you feel about the way you played the rest of the game? Yeah, I always got to keep playing. Uh, coaches always say just move on to the next play. Um, I can't do nothing about that last play. I can't take it back as much as I wanted to. Um, so just got to keep grinding, keep working, and uh, hopefully something else will open up. We also have Charles up here. Questions? Go just say who it's for in the back. Uh, you and the other two guys in the backfield tonight, just uh, talk about the three-headed attack and, you know, that must be a good feeling to have the three of you just kind of almost interchangeable back there. Yeah, um, it was cool. We got a, a lot of talent in this backfield. You know, I think uh, some of the most talent that we that Oregon's had. Um, so we're trying to get a, a fix on, on how to work everybody in and, and, and get reps and things like that. But um, it's cool, you know, to go out there and watch Thomas shine and watch Roy shine. Uh, I get just excited as watching them make big plays and score as when it happens to me. So... To be able to to hit like that from three different people throughout the game, it's just you know it's, a lot of people are going to stay fresh and, and a lot of plays should happen. And how do you feel about the way Marcus distributed it? Uh, Marcus did what Marcus does, you know. Uh, I think he made plays how he does. Uh, I'm not. I'm never worried about how he's going to play. Charles, how do you feel about uh, this college game? And, uh, was it like a weight off your shoulder to get a hands on your first game? It was. I mean, just going out there and, you know, nervous because it's your first game. But after the first play, everything went away, and it was just another football game. Um, main focus was just catching the ball. I was a little inconsistent during camp um, catching the punt. But after I caught the punt, it was just do what we've been working on, what we practice, and Everything and the blocks there were there, so everything happened and just took off from there. Anything more for Byron before we let him go? One more for him? Right here. Uh, Coach said that um, you know, the older guys in the team have really taken the younger, the younger guys into their wing and really helped them get into the game and you know, really get comfortable. Have you seen that? Have I seen that? Have you seen that? The older guys really taking you know, the younger guys on the wing and helping them get ready? Uh, yeah, um, every day in practice. Is, we're not a, a selfish team, meaning like, oh, okay, I'm going to keep my secrets and techniques so, you know, he messes up so I can get the bulk of the, of the carries or the receptions. It's, it's not us at all. We just kind of uh, have been building a culture where, you know, it's just selfless, really. So as much as I can help Royce, I'll help Royce. As much as Keenan Lowe can help Charles, Keenan Lowe will help Charles, you know, um, and, and that goes for everybody. 
Um, so we're never just uh, just about ourselves, you know. The last, that's the last thing we are.